Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be checking out a guitar that I have been sleeping on for such a long time. And upon purchasing one of these off of Reverb.com, I'm kind of kicking myself because these things are so sick. What are these things that we're talking about? Today, we're going to be checking out a USA Dean Cadillac from the year 2005. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I'm really excited about this video because not only do we get to talk about a guitar in general, but it's also a USA guitar, so premium quality. And it just so happens to be from Dean Guitars. And uh, oh yeah, and also oh, I've never had one of these on the channel. So it's just like a win-win-win, a you know what I mean? So yes, as the intro said, this is a 2005 USA Dean Cadillac. Now, when I posted several pictures and, you know, clips of this thing all over Instagram and, you know, just a little bit here and there on YouTube, there's been so much hype about this guitar and unbeknownst to me, a lot of people really love these things and also kind of hate these things. Now, maybe hate's a kind of a, a strong word, but people really seem to have a, a strong opinion for better or for worse with these guitars, with the Cadillacs. Now, honestly, before purchasing this myself, I was honestly in the on the side of not liking these guitars. There's something about the Cadillac shape. It just looks, <laughs> it looks weird, man. I'm going to be honest. It looks weird, but weird ne isn't always necessarily a bad thing. And so right before I bought this guitar, I was watching some live Cannibal on YouTube and I was just like, you know what? The, the Cannibal boys, they play Cadillacs here and there from time to time off and on. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before I personally pull the trigger buy one, check it out, and see if I like it. And as soon as it came into my possession, man, I absolutely fell in love with the guitar. Now this guitar, again, from 2005, is quite old, 16 years old now. And I honestly don't know anything about it. I don't know the wood type or, you know, whatever. I don't know what the body's made of. I don't know where it came from, who ordered it, etc., etc. All I know is it's from 05, it's a USA model, and uh, it's got an ebony board, and I'm assuming a mahogany body. Um, but yeah, man, I really don't know much about it other than it's just a USA Cadillac Black Beauty and it's uh, really sick looking. <laughs> and last thing I'll say before I let you guys hear what this thing sounds like, I know I'm kind of rambling about this guitar, but I'm just really excited about it and I like to talk about it. The thing I love about it the most is the overall aesthetics. Black and gold, dude, Black Beauty, right? Like that's, that's like arguably the sickest combination between hardware and finish color and you know, it's just, it's an iconic color scheme or you know visual whatever you want to call it match with the block inlays dude like that is just right up my alley so again just i saw this online i pulled the trigger and we finally have it here today to check out so enough rambling enough talking i apologize i'm just excited man let's hear how this thing sounds okay so this guitar is tuned to drop d okay it is going into a fortin modified max on od9 which then is going into the blue channel of my evh stealth which is then going into my universal audio ox box okay we'll do a quick little demo song and then we'll do some chugs some informal casual playthrough and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up today's video okay so i have a ton to show you with this guitar i'm not gonna waste any more time i hope you're as excited as i am let's get to some tones right now
ladies and gentlemen, that is everything I could show you with the Dean USA Cadillac. My overall summary, man, like I said uh, several times in this video, I'm kicking myself for not picking one of these up earlier. And honestly, it makes sense as to why I like this guitar. It's kind of like a single cut, although it's, you know, it is and it isn't, but generally speaking, I would say it feels like a single cut guitar, even though it's kind of got like, you know, a Dean Z slash Explorer shape on the front or whatever you want to call it. And then it has like a thoroughbred or, you know, Les Paul shape on the back, whatever you want to call it. But overall, it feels like nothing too unfamiliar for me. It feels like, like I've been here before, even though it's kind of a new model. Does that make any sense? <laughs> now, I will have to say there are some negatives with this guitar. Um, first off, right off the bat, I do not like the Dean Cadillac uh, switch location. I think it is very inconvenient to have to grab all the way down here with your with your picking hand. Just there's just so much ground you got to cover to f to flip back and forth. I think it would make more sense if it was right here. So maybe one day, I don't know, like if I ever in a, in another world or in another life, if I ever had the ability to design my own Cadillac, I'd put the switch right here. It just makes more sense and it would just be a lot more convenient. So you know, I don't know if I ever will have the opportunity to do that, but that's just something that you know. I think would make a lot more sense for me. Another thing I'm really not a fan of is the Dean stop tail piece. Now, I don't know what this is called. Um, I know in some models they have like a traditional stop tail piece, but this Dean stop tail piece, I'm just not a fan of because I personally like to top wrap my my stop tails. Um, I just think it's a, it's a feel thing, a little bit more wiggle room and less brake angle and a little bit more give on the strings. Um, I feel like with, with this type of bridge, it's, the strings are a little bit more taunt and that's great for rhythm, but for like some some leads and stuff, it's a little little uh little bit of added tension there. You know what I mean? That make, does that make any sense? You know, and I could always switch the the string gauges, and I could always you know mess with it to get it to feel um, you know better, I guess. But I'm just being honest. Like upon you know having this guitar for a couple weeks now, I just noticed that the strings are a little bit more taut um, compared to like if I were to top wrap my my strings on my stop tail piece. I hope that makes sense. And another negative is a negative that I see a lot of people talk about with this guitar is the headstock. Now I love the headstock design. I really do. A lot of people don't like this headstock design or uh, they certainly have an opinion about it. I love the Dean headstock. It's iconic and it's in your face and it's extremely recognizable. But for practicality sense, I will have to say this guitar does have a little bit of tuning instability. Um, now these are just regular Grover tuners. They are, they are the original tuners to this guitar. So a simple fix would be to get some locking tuners, right? Um, but I didn't want to do that just yet. I wanted to do this video as, um, you know, with the guitar as a how I picked it up. And then I can certainly, you know, add some tuners later on. But uh, yeah, I just had to point that out. I think it's because the brake angle is rather steep and extreme with this kind of V style headstock. But I certainly think adding some locking tuners would in fact help with this guitar's tuning and uh, make it a little bit easier to keep in tune. But with all those negatives out of the way, let's talk about the positives of this guitar. The first positive and the main positive is how alive this guitar feels. Now, this guitar, when you're playing it, it resonates and it vibrates through your body, which is a great feeling. You know, there's nothing worse than when you're playing a guitar and it feels dead and it feels like it has no, no vibe to it, no life. This guitar has so much just resonance and just feel. And when you're playing it, it just vibrates all throughout your body, which is a great feeling. You know what I mean? Another thing I love about it is the weight. This thing is heavy. It's a solid, I'm assuming mahogany, man, so, or something of the sort, because it is very, very heavy. There's no weight relief. There's none of that kind of nonsense. It's just like a solid slab of a guitar. And it just feels like you got, or, uh, you, you're, <laughs> it feels like you got something in your hands. You know what I mean? And then there's one final positive, man. This guitar just, again, I'll just say it again. It just looks so classy and clean and sleek. Although, you know, it's dirty because I play the hell out of it. <laughs> I'm talking about like the overall aesthetic, like black and gold. It's just such an iconic color scheme. I say it again, man. It's just, it's so beautiful. And then match it with the block inlays. It's just perfect for me, man. And this right here is just like the epitome of a vibe that I go for with a guitar. The only thing that would be better is if it was silver burst. <laughs> but other than that, man, this guitar is just absolutely gorgeous. So all in all, everybody, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I'll just say it one more time. I was sleeping on this shape and this model for such a long time and I regret doing so because the Cadillac is such a, you know, just a love-hate thing and I absolutely love it now that I have the ability to actually play one and hold one and, you know, it's just such a cool, cool shape and a cool guitar, you know? So everybody, that's going to do it for the video. If you're brand new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below and le let me know what you thought about this guitar in this video, all right? So uh, that's going to do it for the video. A huge shout out to all my patrons. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.